By all accounts, this was a surprise. Backers thought they had the votes, but opponents of sports gambling ended up winning the day, at least for now. It's not worth the money to put this to our citizens. Opponents such as Randolph County Republican Pat Hurley helped defeat the bill. I don't think we need to do this to our North Carolina citizens. I hope you will vote no on this bill. Guilford County Democrat Pricey Harrison joined in the bipartisan opposition to online sports betting. Never in my 18 years have we taken up such a controversial bill, maybe House Bill 2, on such a fast track without the deliberate uh, debate and the bill sponsor eventually announced he was done arguing over every item in the bill. Playing simple word games or legal games, I, you know, I really have no interest in it. I'm not going to participate further on the floor in that debate. The bill failed to pass the House by a vote of 50 to 51. 19 members did not vote. Among those not voting, Forsyth County Democrats Amber Baker and Evelyn Terry both had excused absences. 19 people didn't show up to vote yesterday. What's your thoughts on that? Well, that, so that that's one of those things that make you say, hmm, you know, I, don't, I, I can't account for exactly why some individuals weren't there, but that's one of those things that we deal with from time to time. The bill sponsor, Senator Paul Lowe, also from Forsyth County, says all is not lost. Are you hopeful of getting something done in the short session? We are hopeful of getting it done. Now, whether it gets done in the next week or two, I, I can't promise that. But we're hopeful to get something done. If not now, next year? It was very surprising. A reporter covering the sports betting industry says the failed vote was one of two big surprises on the night. The other surprise, lawmakers eliminating bets on college sports. Not being able to put a bet down on Duke or UNC in a March Madness tournament. It was the surprise of the night. The industry reporter says he expects sports betting will eventually pass in North Carolina, but it may take time. Anything can happen until then. I've seen crazier things happen before, but it's not looking likely for this year. Senator Lowe says the supporters are regrouping and there will be another vote on sports betting. He's just not betting on when that will happen. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.